Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Risen 2. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode we explored quite a big part of the main part of the map um, of the of Antigua, the, the middle part. We talked to Eldrick and um, he was happy that we killed the 12 gargoyles. The um, appearance of the gargoyles is connected to Mara, big surprise there. We also found this large waterfall cave here. There's a strange gate. We have to, in, in the in the bars, there's an encryption. We have to say the password to have the gate open. And um, Tetra Chagadong was not the password, so we had to go away. Um, that's, that's not exactly what he said, but that's okay. We've gotten low on provisions by now. That's why I uh, traded out Patty for Chani. Chani is a healer. It's gonna be kind of convenient, I think, I hope, I expect. And now we're gonna talk to Erin, the Erin boy. I, I'm so clever. I am so clever. Rick, that's right. Old Max waiting for his delivery. Old Max waiting for his delivery. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about him. I'll get right to it. No need, I'll do it. Fine by me. Okay, here's his week's rations. Tell him from me, it won't happen again. No problem. He's gonna be happy. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna try and talk to Alvarez again. Maybe he's got something new new to say. And Grace, actually. Although Grace is not gonna have anything. I think he could. Thievery 80. Thievery 80 I can't do without potions. And I don't want to. I do not want to. Was there anything I couldn't loot in here? Yeah, you didn't see me. Alvarez's chest is completely empty. And Alvarez, what do you have I to have say? More important things to do right now. Yeah, like sleeping. Out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Get away with you. Sorry, dude. Is he following? Yeah, of course he's following me. Guard. Okay, then we're going to go to the water pit. And do oh no, there was a really tough to uh, to open chest here. What was this about? Level ninety? Level ninety. Okay, let me drink a potion, thievery potion. That's my last one. Twenty three. Is that enough? Twenty three. Enough. Okay, that's my last thieves potion. Then now I have to cook more. Johnny. You gonna help me cook more potions? Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I can already feel it. I'm not doing this with any systems. There is it. Oh, nice! First try, baby! Woo! Rum, grog, marksman's potion, 53 gold. Well, that was not worth a potion, but that's okay. I still don't know where I can get that one noose. That would be a really nice addition to my loadout. A really nice addition. Okay, let's go talk to the water carriers because we we need water and water is what we're gonna get from a water carrier, isn't it? Bill! Show me how to fight, no thanks. I could show you how to fight if you wanted to. If you, but I don't expect that you have that kind of attention span. And the water carriers are around here. You were a person to talk to. What do you say? Miles. Hey, you, wanker. Got a bottle of rum for your old pal, Miles? Get some barrels of water for me. Got some barrels of water for me? No can do, buddy. No water for anyone. Is he possessed by evil spirits? Seems Only like it. That live in rum bottles. As long as Butch is pissing us off, none of us water carriers are doing anything. Water? What the fuck do you want to drink that stuff for anyways? Go see Spencer in the tavern. He'll give you something good. Water barrels. This looks like a shit job. Why do it? Well, that's complicated. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. But I sometimes drink a bit too much. I will keep that to myself. No, it's true. Back then, I was with the Admiral's crew. Bit of a stickler, the old Admiral. 
didn't take to drinking on duty, so it chucked me off the crew. <laughs> Bastard. I see. Shouldn't you be working instead of drinking? How can I convince you to deliver wa How can water I anyway? You to deliver water anyway. You can't. Not with that bastard butcher around. He's enforcing the um, um, the trade ban. <laughs> no water. While he's sticking to the rules. Tough one, is he? Fancy your chances against him, do you? Ah. I'm not going to give you a bottle of rum, but I do fancy my chances against... Oh, you look like a strong dude. You look exactly like like the dude I took over what? once. Haven't you got anything better to do than bug me? Nope. Holy hell. Intimidate level 90. Hey, no need to be hostile. I've just got one question. I've just got one question. Then what are you waiting for? Ask it. I need the water barrels. What is it you were you do here exactly exactly? So have you heard the one about the um Sir, have you heard the one about the Stop right there. Are you about to try to tell me some kind of joke? No, definitely not. Good. Hmm. What is it you do here exactly? What does it look like? I checked those idiots over there don't slack on the job. They're not working? I can see you take your job seriously. I can see you take your job seriously. Yeah. My boys don't do anything the Admiral wouldn't like. Yeah, if you're gonna be a real pirate, you should do something pirate-like. If you're gonna be a real pirate, you should do something pirate-like. Like what? Like be master and commander of your own ship? Become a feared master swordsman? Maybe get a talking parrot? Get a peg leg and say you've got uh, you got it in a barrel. Uh, you've got it in battle. Just forget it. Get a peg leg and say you got it in battle. Hacking off my own leg doesn't much appeal. Maybe talking parrot. Maybe get a talking parrot. Flea-ridden shoulder shitters. No thanks. Uh, feared master swordsman. Become a feared master swordsman. All that. Ponzi sword waving, not a chance. No one will fight me anymore anyway. Oh. Like be master and commander of your own ship. I hate ships and water and being in the water when ships sink. I need the water barrels. I can't do that until the Admiral gives the order. Not even for you, Captain. I could tear his heart out. Me How too. About we try something else first, okay? You are diplomatic like none I've ever seen, Chani. Okay, I've got a good idea. How about we kick his ass? Just sod off, okay? Uh, not gonna work out. Water Leave carrier. Out. Water Leave carrier. Just everyone's looking at me. Not a good idea. Raw meat equals two provisions. Nice. Anybody is annoyed by me picking this chest? Not yet. Still no. Hmm. Nope. Everyone's happy. Everyone's a happy ding dong do. What's underneath this waterfall? I wonder how they get like um un like they get drinkable water from this water. Am I stuck in the waterfall? No, I was stuck in the waterfall. Miles, you help me out with Butch here. I'm sure you'll know what to do with him. How do I get Butch out of the way? Have you tried bribing him? Be a piss poor pirate who wasn't up for a bit of buggery. I mean bribery. Or maybe you can just lure him into the little cave or beast. That's an idea. I'm still gonna have to fight him though. It's that way sometimes. Less you can do do uh, voodoo. Mm. How's that gonna help me here? The Malakas can, you know, take over people's minds and such. <laughs> but you'd make a great puppet, don't you think? I'd love to see that. You know, for a drunken, rum-stinking shit pit of a human being... You've just come up with a really good idea. 
Or I could just give him a sock in the mouth. You've just come up with a really good idea. I have. I mean, I have. I'll need to get a strand of his hair, though. Ah, ah, ah. No, hair. New quest, the butch puppet. What are you gonna do, Miles? Where are you up to? Ah, getting pissed drunk. Distract and pull a strand of hair from head. Look at those guys over there. What an easy life. Those guys' lives are only as easy as I make them. So not really. What the hell? What are you doing? There was something in your hair. I got it. You keep your hands off me. <laughs> la, 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 la. That's gonna be fun. I like taking people over. That's a good part of this game. That's a very good part of this game. The best about it, every time you use a doll, you get the ingredients back. Uh, teleporting would be faster, but I'm not gonna teleport. I'm also not gonna need provisions to get my health up, because I've got a voodoo witch with me, so she's gonna take care of that problem in no time. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the wall. Ow. Voodoo. See what I'm talking about? You see? Food witches are great. Strand of butch here. I haven't got all the ingredients. Voodoo doll. Where did my voodoo doll go? Uh, I can use this to curse and weaken my enemy. Curse doll is not a voodoo doll, huh? You've got goods I can look at. Take a good close look. Give me a voodoo doll, please. One voodoo doll. Thank you. I'm gonna take two voodoo dolls, actually. Because I'm probably gonna do more voodoo in the future. I wish. What's my glory at? 1942. That is in the middle of the Second World War. Good lord. I need 6,000 for that. That's gonna be a while. That is going to be a while. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Taking control of a big asshole and then um, talking to everybody, doing shit. That's gonna be nice. Maybe threaten them into giving me gold. Oh yeah. With no consequences. That's what I like the most about it. I'm gonna be happy when I find, an, find a cauldron, though, because I have got so much potions, or so many potions to brew. Even the, just the thievery potions. But we also have a jester's cap in our inventory, that would be nice. Take control of a dude. Wait, inventory, equipment, butch voodoo doll. Done. Return to character. No can do. Chani. Palava, palava. Palava, 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 palava. Leave it out. Leave it out. Hey, you. How about shifting your arse? Uh, what? What now? But you're not. It's me, you silly drunk twat. The one who buys you rum. Rum finally rotted your brain. I said shift your arse. Rum finally rotted your brain. I said shift your arse. But... Shift it. Those water barrels won't move themselves. All right, all right. I'm doing it. That's more like it. Okay, I'll get to work. And now do the fun part. Because if I go into town in Butch's body, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be coming across a. I've still got something to take care of here. Fine. Uh, this is making my head hurt. Now I definitely need a drink. I can Just give you a drink. Sod off, okay? 
Well, the water carriers aren't working, but you are. Nowhere I can buy some fish. Nowhere I can buy some fish? How much you need? A lot. Then you gotta visit the fishermen on the eastern beach. Go further inland at the watering pool and then make a right to the east. Somewhere. Oh. Not bad directions, considering how drunk you are. Drunk? Who are you calling drunk? <laughs> that was a good, uh, that was a fun time I had. Now let us go to the eastern beach. We haven't been there yet. We have been here though, and there are still monkeys abroad. I'm gonna take care of them. I know it's dark. I know you can hardly see anything. Same goes for me. I can hardly see anything as well. Dueling a pea is my sword of choice. Hi, Blue Claw. I hate dealing with you guys. Because it's never just one blue claw. Its spirit is free. Nice. Haven't heard those comments yet. Not all of them at least. That's a bunch of cave bats. Let's not deal with those. Let's go talk to fishermen. There's a hut. Go to the beach. And I'm going to take care of the, those cave bats soon enough. But for the moment I want to be in an area where I'm likely to find a bed anywhere. You kicked it over. Nice. I really enjoy those eyes as well. I've got a lot of trophies with me right now. And if I run into money problems, I'm going to have probably 2,000 golden trophies on me. Is that something to pick up? No, that is a trap for me to fall down into deep water. Because my character is not able to swim. The only thing I'm not going to sell is monkey skulls. I theoretically also have a lot of um, herbs to sell. And mm -hmm. those are not... Um, those are not... Those are t worth 5 or 10 each. But since I've got so many, if I run into big money problems, I'm going to have a lot of money there. Okay, I'm going to get there soon enough. But for the moment, I'm going to talk to people. That was a good jump. I'm going to talk to people. I could all under there. You probably have a quest for me, don't you? Fisherman's hut found. He's probably fast asleep, so I'm gonna be able to um, rob him blind. Okay, that's not what classifies as asleep. He wanted to prove to everyone he could climb the high hill, even with his peg leg. One night, he left Takarigua's pirate's den to prove his point, and disappeared, without anyone finding out if he ever reached the top or not. I've already found the peg leg. Yep. I've already found the peg leg. Ooh, I cannot. Eddie, how about you lie down? I am unhappy about there being a second bed in this place. That means there's a second fisherman abroad, and I'm probably gonna get caught picking this chest lock. Ooh, that was easy. Saber, bad, torch, grog. Eh. Anything else? That bowl is not valuable. From okay. The town. Finally. Seriously, I thought we were done for. Who's we? Me and my mate Duncan. We lived here for years, but fishing the local waters. You know this island well? Of course, but not as well as old Mac out there on the western side. That old coffin dodge has been here longer than anyone can remember. So, what's the matter? It's my mate Duncan. We were out here fishing, and then... Oh, oh it was horrible. This thing, maybe a hog goblin. It came out of nowhere, Duncan. I, I think it ate Duncan. You know, I had a co-worker called Duncan once. This is a fun conversation. Calm down and tell me what happened. Well, we found a good fishing spot in a grotto. We thought it was our lucky day, plenty to sell in the town. But then we heard this, this, this really horrible noise. Oh, something really pissed off and hungry. Me, I, I scarped faster. I saw Duncan. It wasn't with me. You left him back there? I, I know. 
Please, can you help him? He's my mate. But what can I do against a creature like that? Don't worry, I'll try to sort this. You will? Oh, thank you, sir. Please, don't be long. <laughs> I'll see if I can find your friend. He's probably had it. Poor bastard. Be good to know for sure, so I can take word back to that girl of his. Let's not give up hope yet. This grotto, where is it? Not far, just down the end of the beach. I would take you, but, you know, the, the hobgoblin. What makes you think it was a hobgoblin? It, it sounded like one. Y you know, from the stories you hear, a horrible evil spirit made unnatural flesh. That's exactly what it sounded like. Sounds like it might be connected with Mara in some way. Mara? I've heard stories about her. They say she has tentacles, and a soul as black and evil as the abyss. At least that's what old Max says. But those are just stories. The but tentacle part is right. I hope you're wrong, though. I think Mara has sent your harp goblin. I hope you're wrong, though. You and me both, but I don't think I am. I need some fresh fish. I need some fresh fish. I'm not doing anything with that monster out there. Sorry, but I don't want to die. Alright, you lie down. I lie down. Chani watches over us like a good girl. <laughs> she really did. Aren't you bored? Your legs must hurt quite a bit. And now we're going to take care of a hobgoblin, are we? No, we're not. Because right now, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.